Hello, my name is Greer Stewart, and I am the Assistant Dean for Undergraduate Medical Education at the Tuscaloosa Regional Campus here at the University of Alabama. I help manage the Hearsink School of Medicine's primary care track. It's my pleasure to tell you a little bit about this program today. The primary care track was approved in 2017, and we enrolled our first class in 2018. Our mission is to train physicians to serve Alabama and our region in primary care and community-based practice, and to develop students with a solid knowledge, not only of patient care, but of community leadership and population health. So let's talk a little bit about life in the primary care track. During years one and two, you'll be covering the required basic science curriculum in Birmingham with the rest of your School of Medicine class. In addition, as primary care track students, you'll get to have some additional clinical experiences with a PCT mentor and learn about primary care, community medicine, population health, and more. We'll start this after the winter break of your first year. Prior to beginning your second year, our students participate in Camp PCT in Tuscaloosa. We'll provide a place for you to stay and you'll get to learn even more about primary care, procedures, scholarly opportunities, leadership in medicine, and more. We'll even get to have a little fun. Scholarly activity is a four-year longitudinal requirement for all students in the School of Medicine. We'll help guide you through this. The big difference between the primary care track and the regular MD track start during the third year. Tuscaloosa students complete clerkships through a hybrid LIC. Students also participate in two longitudinal courses within this curriculum. RELATE is an almost weekly course that covers many of the non-curricular parts of being a medical student, such as professionalism, leadership in medicine, preparation for applying to residency, and the like. LCPM is a continuation of the preclinical curriculum and learning how to apply population health and leadership into patient care. It takes place entirely in the integrated portion of the third year. The clinical part of the curriculum is divided into two 24-week segments, immersion and integrated. During the immersion component, students complete modified blocks in individual disciplines very similar to the structure of clerkships on the other campuses. This is primarily inpatient, and all students complete this in Tuscaloosa. The other 24 weeks is completed in the integrated clerkship, a true longitudinal clinical experience. This is primarily outpatient, but with some inpatient experiences as well. Every student's schedule is unique, but this graphic shows a hypothetical two-week portion of the curriculum. Most students will complete the integrated component of the curriculum in Tuscaloosa, but some will have the opportunity to participate in our Community Integrated Experience, or CIE. In Tuscaloosa, students will see patients at University Medical Center with our full-time faculty and with some of our adjunct faculty in the Tuscaloosa area. Our faculty have a vested interest in turning out well-trained and well-prepared medical students, and we hope that some of you will want to stay on with us after graduation in our Family Medicine Residency Program. A few students will be selected during your second year of school to participate in our CIE. These students will complete the integrated component of the year at one of our approved community hub sites. Currently, these sites are in Pell City and Demopolis. We train local doctors to train our students and teach them how to be small town rural docs. Students have a lot of autonomy and learn even more about the business side of medicine and what it means to be a leader in a small community. Valuable tools, even if you don't end up in a small community. The fourth year of medical school has a lot of flexibility. Like the regular MD track, the primary care track has three required four-week acting internships. Ours are slightly different than the other campuses and will be completed on the Tuscaloosa campus or one of our approved community sites. Electives, 18, of which, 18 weeks of which are required, 
may be completed on any of the School of Medicine's four campuses or as an approved visiting elective at another institution. All School of Medicine students will complete a two-week preparation for residency course. We cover the same disciplines as the other campuses, just in the unique structure of the LIC. All students will take two shelf tests in the first half of the year and five in the second half. Which ones vary depending on whether you start on immersion or integrated? Based on evidence that has been published, students trained in LICs finish medical school even more prepared for internships. Students do just as well, if not better, on standardized tests. So, I hope I've helped interest you in applying to the primary care track. Applications are made to the program through the UAB Hearsink School of Medicine using AMCAS. You'll then indicate your interest in the primary care track on the secondary application. The primary care track provides neither a competitive advantage nor disadvantage to getting accepted to Hearsink. The admissions criteria are identical to the regular MD track. The primary care track is just looking for students who also share our interest in primary care and caring for our communities. I wish you luck during the interview process and I hope to see you soon at one of our interview sessions.